Mount Fuji as seen from top MMA venue Saitama Super Arena. Itself just five minutes by taxi from Irumagawa Stable, to which I today travelled letter in hand. The contents of that letter inform the stable's head wrestler, Ukrainian Shishi, of the supportive comments he has received from you on this channel. As myself, a person with deep ties to Eastern Europe, it was the least I could do. He heads down to Osaka tomorrow for his toughest tournament yet, his hometown of course being Zaporizhia. The flow of wrestlers to Osaka began last Friday, with Kise Stable among the first to travel, leaving newspapers with little to cover over the weekend. I made use of my time at a junior sumo club, of which more later this month, before watching the sumo edition of the junk sports TV show Sunday night. Seven top wrestlers appeared, with the headlines made by Horshoryu's admission that when in Division 3, he got so fed up of Uncle Asashoryu that he blocked him on his phone. Because he's scary, the nephew explained. He's always really hard on me. In fact, even when we last met, he was lecturing me for four hours, and I just had to sit there and listen. I guess if he sees this, he'll be mad some more. And what we viewers knew and he didn't, was that Asashoryu of course was watching on his computer, joining by video link from Mongolia. I indeed heard a lot of stuff there, Asa confirmed as the camera cut to him, before calling Horshoryu quite an asshole for blocking him. When the studio laughter subsided, Asa confirmed his faith in his nephew and backed him to make further waves. And when Mitake Umi begged him for a four-hour talk of his own, Asa laughingly shot back, Your very problem is you talk too much. Mitake Umi's last newspaper interview was Wednesday 2nd, when he revealed that a week-long hospital stay due to Covid, while providing welcome rest from his post-promotion schedule, took six kilos off his weight. Muscle definition was also down, so he claimed when reacquainting himself with his spats. He is now spending more practice time than usual on the core movements and working on his tachiai. And when asked if the reality of married life had dawned on him, he smiled and asked reporters, You're all married, right? Was there a time when it dawned on you? Meanwhile, fellow Ozeki Shodai told reporters Friday 4th that his voice was still husky after his own virus infection, and that his 10-day rest period had left him behind schedule for March. Last week, although upping bout numbers, Shodai was still fighting lower division men instead of first-tier Yutakayama. Before that, apparently, he could barely fight two bouts before losing breath. He's also trying to block out demotion fears and the increased threat from Mitake Umi, to whom he has always compared himself, having come through the same uni sumo system. Hinting that he'd lost spirit once the defeats piled up last time, Shodai also laments letting winning chances slip at the rope. But I will go for eight wins and try to fight like I've never been infected, he vows. Takakesho, we learned Saturday, resumed practice bouts with his highest ranked colleagues on March the 1st after his own Covid misfortune. Coach Tokiwayama claims the Ozeki has done all he can post-infection and looks in acceptable shape. Keisho now plans two more days work at the stable before journeying to Osaka on Thursday, and he will hope the local Kansai support drives him away from demotion. And finally, Abi, also appearing on Junk Sports, told reporters Monday 7th that while he dislikes Ozeki talk, 
he will aim to put on sumo of that level. I'm delighted you consider me a candidate, he said, and that really makes me want to improve and rise to the challenge. However, there are no numerical targets right now. He did 15 minutes of fighting with Orki this morning, adding, I was working on encroachment and, generally, feel my condition building up well for the tournament. And he's keen to exhibit his changed self to an Osaka crowd, which will be present for the first time in three years.